Hey guys, it's Boney and today I'll be making a tutorial on how to add custom boss bars to your world. You can use this to watermark any of your worlds or your maps. And this is really simple to do and you can replace that text with anything you want. So you can have it say your own custom message in the boss bar. This is really simple and it does require a little bit of a setup but it is really easy. And let me show you how this add-on works. So if you go into the creative inventory and you search for watermark there's going to be three eggs and each one of these whenever you spawn them in it's going to display a custom boss bar with whatever message you want it to say so once you get the eggs when you place a spawn egg down it's going to spawn in this pig and this is just to show you where the watermark is so you can remove it if you want and it shows a custom message and then for the second one you can have it say you can have it say any message you want to. You could replace this text. I'll show you how to replace it right now. And for the third one, you could also have it say custom message. And you can replace all three of these. So you can have each one of them say a different message. And let me show you how it's done. I'm going to show you how to do it on your computer, but you could also do this on Android and iOS. All right, once you're on your computer, you're going to download two files. One is the behavior pack and one is the resource pack. To the You don't have to do anything to the behavior pack, so you can just install this. And the other one is the resource pack. This is where you're going to have to edit the files. And this one's going to be an MC pack, so you can just install it. And the resource pack is going to be a .zip, so it's going to be a .zip file. So if you're doing this on Windows 10, you're going to need a program. I use 7-Zip, uh, it's a free program and I will leave a link to it to the download in the description. And if you're on Android, you can use uh, File Explorer, I think there's one called ES fi File Explorer that could do this too. Just need something to unzip it. So if you are doing this on Android or iOS, you can just download an app that can unzip files. So, but if you're doing this on your computer, all you have to do is open, it, open the resource pack with 7-Zip. And there's going to be a folder. All you do is drag it to your desktop or to a folder wherever you want. And then you can delete this, the watermark.zip. And then you're going to have this folder. You open up this folder. And there's going to be a few files in here. You want to look for the one that's, uh, you want to look for the folder that says text. And here you look for your language. So if you're in the United States and you have your language set to English, you look for this one that says EN underscore us is there's the language file so, so if you have your language set to english and you're in the united states that's the one you use and then you want to open up notepad there is another way to do this and it's a little bit easier but it does not work on realms so i'm going to show you how to do this one because this one works when you are on realms and when you're not on realms and all you do is drag this language file into notepad and you don't have to worry about this part this part doesn't matter it's just this part this is where you put your custom message or custom text. So this line, these three lines, each one of these is a different message. So for the watermark, the one that's a number one, this, this is where you put your first message. And this line here, this is where you put your second message. And this is where you put your third message. So if you want to replace the message on the first boss bar, you delete this where it says replace this text. You can delete this. So right here where it says name equals, right after the equal sign, you put whatever whatever message you want. So I'm just going to put tutorial, but you can put whatever you want, whatever message you want it to display for the first watermark. And for the second watermark, it's the exact same thing. You delete this where it says replace this text. And you put your own custom message. So I'm just going to put... Uh, but it could be whatever message you want. So now when you spawn the first watermark, this is what it's going to say. When you spawn the second watermark, this is what it's going to say in the boss bar. And then for for the third one, it's the exact same thing. You delete that where it says replace this text and you put whatever you want it to say. So for mine, I'm going to have it say main lobby or whatever. You could, you could have it say what it, anything you want. And here you could also add like a custom color to the text. So and you can go to this website. This website shows you the formatting codes for the text color for Minecraft. So if I wanted it to be this color gold, I could copy this and, you know, and paste it here. And this would change the color of this text to gold. But you could also add custom Unicode characters, uh, kind of like emojis. So this is the armor icon and this is the mine coin icon like I had in the beginning so 
you can go to this website and this website shows you some Unicode characters. So, so if I wanted to show an armor icon, I could copy this symbol here. I would copy this and just paste it wherever you want the the armor icon to show. Same with the mine coin. So if I wanted to show a mine coin, I could copy this and paste it wherever I want. But this is optional. You don't have to do that. All right, so once you're done, and that's all you have to do. So once you're done editing the each text, just go to File and Save. And when you load up Minecraft, it's going to show this and where the boss bar is. But for example, if someone joins your world and they don't have their language set to English United States, it's not going to show this. It's just going to say replace this text for them. That's what it's going to say. So if you want every single person that joins, doesn't matter what language they have on their game, you're going to have to replace it for each one of these files. So what you could do is copy this part. So you copy this part and then you load up another language file and you replace this with your text and then you save it. And same for the next one, you highlight this, you remove this part and then you paste your message. And then again, save it and just keep doing this for every single language file. That way anybody that joins, doesn't matter what language they have on their game, they're, they're gonna see your custom message. And you just keep doing this for each one of them. But if you don't really care, you only have to switch it for your language. Uh, so for mine, I have mine set to English, United States. So, but whatever language you use, just switch it for that or switch it for all of them, whatever you want. And once you've done that, once you've done that, you, you go back over here. And where it says the watermark resource pack, if you're on, if you're doing this on your PC and you're using 7-zip, you right click on it. Then you go where it says 7-zip and you you go here where it says add to watermark rp.zip and it's going to make this folder into a zip file. Once you do that, you rename it. Here where it says dot zip, you want to delete this and put mc pack. And this will turn it into a Minecraft file. And then you can just install it. If you're on Windows 10, you can just click on it and install it. And let me show you how it looks now. So all I have to do is install this. And once it's installed, just either create a new world or add it to an existing world, whatever you want to do. Uh, for me, I'm just going to put this on a new world, but it doesn't really matter. And you install the behavior pack and, and the resource pack should also get activated automatically. All right, once you're in the game, look for the spawn eggs. And once you spawn them in, they should have the custom message. See, this one says subscribe, and this one says tutorial, and this one says main lobby. And if you change the color, it will show up there. Also, if you add your custom icons, they will also show up. And that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, just let me know.